Hello. Dropping in for another replay here. Uh, this time we're going to see uh, Wizenlander's Orcs, Kelly's Heroes. And they're going to be taking on a team that uh, I am yet to see play, which is going to be the Underworld Den Denizens of Coolest Treekin or Zelgrax, uh, the Burrowers. So this will be fascinating. I have actually not played against Underworld that much because they are not often taken in the big uh, in the big ladders. So this will be fun to fun to watch. Ah, oh, looks like they brought along a star player, Bombardier. So that'll keep things interesting. <laughs> I think he's relatively cheap, so that's probably part of the reason why. All right, so it looks like the Orcs are going on defense to start with. Uh, we'll try and keep track of this as best we can. It's not always easy with these replays, they go very fast. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any skills on either team yet. So we'll turn the skills off because we know what most of them are. Linda will just look very cool in general and that's a nice nice kit colour there. So they can take basically Skaven throwers, uh, I think regular Skaven linemen, a couple of each and then a couple of storm vermin which they call Skaven blitzers. So kick off Weather changes to nice, which is uh, good for the uh, good for the underworld. Protecting the ball first, good choice. Yeah, just the one troll for underworld. But at least they do have some strength three to uh, and a little bit of block to uh, knock some guys over. I feel like this traditionally would favour the uh, the orcs because Underworld doesn't have the tools to take down the Orcs yet. Uh, they don't have any claw or... Oh boy, he went for the early throw. This is brave. And he used a reroll, which he passed, but then blew himself up. <laughs> Bomber Dribble Snot out on the first turn. Pretty classic there. And the turnover. That was quite a long pass. Would he have... Let's have a look. Yeah, he, I mean, it doesn't matter how close he was, he was going to do better. Oh, wow. Hawk's getting straight in there with that uh, bad block, but the reroll paid off. And down goes uh, Chipmunk. So, uh, definitely looking good for the Orcs right now, because what I was saying was the Thunderworld will get some tools for hurting uh, high armor teams, but not until they start skilling up. Not being able to knock those guys down means the troll is just going to be a one dice unless he puts uh, puts another orc in here. Looks like he's going for the putting a player on all the players because why not? You you've got very high armor value and it makes them have to make some tricky decisions. I'm surprised he didn't bring in the thrower there and uh, take a hit on the oak, on the troll, but. All right. Okay, so unfortunate again on the block dice. Okay, taking a bit of a risk with that dodge. I understand it, but if he's not careful, that ball is. Uh... Oh, sure, hands pay enough. Okay, so he's going to just drop back. That's fair enough. Maybe try and uh, restructure his lines before he does anything too crazy. Oh, the one dice didn't pay off. But uh, what can you really do in that situation surrounded by Black Orcs? Oh wow, more double skulls. Will he be uh, paid again with another injury? Nope. But now he can pressure the thrower. You don't have to get right up on him, you can just get... That's, that's good enough to... Uh, Make the thrower have to make some decisions. Boy, the underworld team is looking real small all of a sudden, isn't it? So he's got another block here, if he wants it. 
just moving people into position first, which is the way to go. I think I'd be tempted to maybe put a little pressure on this side as well so he could get an assist. We'll see if he does that. Having the thrower back as a, as a sweeper is not a bad idea. Down goes Woodchuck, so uh, yeah. My feeling is the Underworld are going to be looking to try and score as quickly as possible here. Oh, it's uh, taking some risks, but at this point, what do you do? Okay, he's dodging back. I thought maybe he might try and dodge through and just sort of go for a Hail Mary, but no. At least he marked up the uh, Blitzer here. Can you get up there? Okay, he's just really putting on that pressure now. That's good news for the Underworld, because now if he goes and marks the thrower, this guy is free. Although he could be marked, actually. He'll probably mark him. Troll should have probably got up by now. Yeah, the sign value 7 versus the arm value 9 is uh, very painful at this stage. Troll still laying down. Really should be getting up. Still laying down. I mean, you could argue that it's not the end of the world right now because there's not a lot of offense here. He's not stunned, is he? Oh, I, you know. <laughs> I see what it is now. I'm so used to the orcs having a troll. Well, I assumed it was their troll. Confused myself. Okay, so the Underworld have definitely gone into the mode of... I expect he's going to... Oh. I think I'd have given the ball to him and... I don't know, it's bad whatever you do here. Yeah, here's me thinking that uh, it wasn't Landers not getting his troll up, and the whole time <laughs> it wasn't even his troll. I thought it was weird. Wow, right, more double skulls, but it's not. Despite being out of rerolls, it's one of those weird times where it's not that big a deal actually, because everywhere everything else is going really well. So I imagine he's bringing this guy through to get on the ball. No real need to actually try and pick it up yet. Save the uh, save that for in a minute. I think I'd bring somebody on top of the Skaven just to keep him in place. Maybe this guy. One, two, three, four. Yep. I mean, there's no real worry. I suppose you could argue that this goblin was a bit of a worry for getting out, but he managed to power him. So, I don't even know. Can he even get to the ball? One, two, three, four. Yeah, he could technically. But then you'd have to throw it out of a tackle zone. Is this a... Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's made a potential little pocket here. If he can get the ball. I assume the goblin's going to try and get over there and grab it. Yeah. And then I think you go straight for the throw. I mean, that's kind of a good result, honestly. From the circumstances. It's closer to more of his players now. I can't really fault that uh, logic back that turn. Wow, okay, now, now those double spells are beginning to have an impact. It's crazy. So suddenly there's a little bit of a chance if he can grab this ball, maybe push this guy. He's probably going to push him onto the ball now. If he had knocked him over, he might have pushed him next to it, but now you get it into less tackle zones. Okay. So yeah, there's a little chance, but he's going to have to roll some serious dice. He does have the re-rolls, though. So I think he's going to grab it with this guy, maybe give it to this guy. This guy could maybe dance through. 
Oh, he's gone. He's gone through first. Oh, you. Are you oh, the throw is going to dodge out and grab the ball. Yeah, I don't think I'd have done it, even though his throw is better. But um, you know, if he grabs it, he's got a much better chance of throwing it. And of course, he has a much better chance of grabbing it too. Oh, this could be. Yeah, that's painful. I think it's fair to say the luck is sort of swinging like a pendulum right now. This guy being here is is probably not too bad actually for the Skaven slash goblins. Oh, that's not great. Can he protect him? Probably. He's got a lot of a lot of orcs on the field. I think the Underworld are going to have to pull something uh, ridiculous to get this looking any better. Oh, the knockdown is painful there as well. I can follow up here and then block the thrower down. And indeed out. So the one dice here, okay, came, came good. If it bubbles out this way, oh, hello. There is a chance all of a sudden. Oh, hello. Oh, he went for it. I, I can't blame him for that. Oh, he had to reroll the animosity. Oh, and it hurt him. The good news is, this is a pretty good place for it. I don't know how many turns we have left got one turn left. I'm suddenly thinking, oh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can't get down there unless he accidentally gets pushed by Wizenlander, which can happen. You can kind of forget in the heat of battle. Okay, no, he's just going to mark him. So he probably, in retrospect, harsh though it is to say, should have moved the goblin down to say here, out of range of the orcs. And then attempted to throw, knowing that he could have re-attempt it the next turn. Because now, this little goblin... One, two. Yeah, he's one out. He'd have to do the mother of all chain pushes here, because he'd have to bring over a bunch of guys. Definitely possible, but requiring a lot of dodges. That's most unfortunate. Just punting it. That's fair with all these orcs up here. Don't don't even give it a chance. Yeah, I know had he have got that throw to the goblin, it would have been um, you know a certain touchdown. So I understand that, and of course the closer he is, the easier it is to throw to him. But I suppose if you're playing that game of like let's give ourselves the most chances, you maybe move him down three three or four squares even if you even though you know you might kind of fumble it down here but you know a lot of this stuff is easy to see in hindsight and had it gone the other way you'd just say hey good work so yeah for a moment there it looked like the underworld was going to snatch snatch the first half away in glorious fashion but Sad to say it wasn't to be. I didn't look to see... I don't think there's that many goblins on the team yet. I didn't look to see if there was any goblins he could have potentially thrown next to him, but I don't see a lot back here. Looks like most of them are off the field now. Alright, so... Yeah. What a, what a crazy first half. The orcs seeming like they had it in a bag, but constantly rolling double skulls. Uh, but definitely doing lasting damage, which could make it very hard for the Underworld to uh, to compete this half. They might be looking at doing some... Uh, launching some goblins into the cage. Shenanigans. We shall see. Orcs, unsurprisingly, haven't lost anybody. They barely got blocked down there, I think.
I think it's fair to say there are lots of players doing, especially on the Underworld team, doing what they did not want to do, whether it be, uh, you know, dodges, mo mostly dodges that they were not really keen on. Oh, this is interesting. This could uh, shift the complexion of it if he can get somebody through. Get some early pressure on and keep the uh, front line of the Orcs tied up while he uh, pressurizes the this side. I think you'd want to get the Goblin through if you could. Oh, that didn't really help. Oh boy, he went for the reroll. I, th I guess he got an extra re No, he didn't get an extra reroll. I guess he's rolling four re running four rerolls. So he's just going to... Oh, yeah, it didn't work. But he didn't go off the field, so... It's all good. And he has a bit of pressure on this side now, even with that goblin down. But now the orcs are going to put some uh, hurting on them physically, most likely. So this time he will get to knock the troll over. The troll, which is not on his team. I don't know why he moved him in. He didn't need the assist there. Alright, that's good. Tying up as many players as you can, especially players that are down. Just makes it so much more awkward. Okay. That makes sense. Coming in for the ball. Got a built-in reroll for that, so why wouldn't you? Oh, and then the classic, uh, I'm playing the last roll there. So, does that open up a path through? Not an easy one. Not an easy one at all. But there is a goblin here that the troll could have potentially thrown down here to pin him to the ball carrier. So just stay for the assist. Looks like he's going to come around the outside for the two dice. Just a push is not what he wanted. Is he going to try and dodge the throw through? Oh, good troll block there. That ties the orc line back up nicely again. Sort of temporarily at least. Keeping the throw back as a sweeper. I think he's going to dodge this one through. Okay, that was some rolls. I mean, it probably means he's going to get clobbered, but... Uh, oh, going in for the... Uh, Okay, it worked out. Going in for the blitz first. And he can now move his thrower up into the relatively safe pocket over here. And uh, it's time to start bashing some goblins down. Or just pushing them around. Now he gets two dice on the troll, which is good. Frees up a blitzer. Oh, I didn't even see that goblin back there. So that's this is where the strength of the Black Hawks really comes in. They can man mark somebody and get good blocking situation. And just continuously push them back. Oh, I forgot that throw was back there. So he's just uh, harassing the back line, trying to put the pressure on. The Orcs do have to score to win, obviously. They weren't able to convert that uh, first half due to, uh, partially due to more double skulls than you can count. Okay, what madness are we going to see here? Okay. Just putting the pressure on. Trying to use that goblin dodging. It's kind of worked out so far. Although uh, wasn't Lander wisely just pushing him off the ball rather than ping-ponging him around. Get your thrower out right of there before you hit him again. Secure the cage by pushing this guy away. This is this is good uh, blocking play by Wizenlander here. Oh, hello. 
I guess he's going to move the other orc up to fill in that spot in the cage. Okay, the gob the uh, the underworld armor is holding a little better. Oh. Yeah, and even where it's not, they're not getting pushed off the field quite as much as in the first half, so there is that. Okay, that's a strong move there. So what is uh, what is Zelgrax going to do? He wants to break the cage here. Could go for the troll throw through that goblin that he just stood up into the cage. So just uh, making uh, making his way back into uh, a defensive position here. Trying to get a little bit of blocking. Make it a bit, a bit slower, the orc progress, which makes sense. Okay, just going for the block. I mean, it's not an easy throw because he's marked by two players. I think he might have tried to dodge into the... yeah. Okay. So Wizardlander can just sort of make a slow march forward. He's kept his rerolls intact this uh, this half. Oh, got a good... Uh, good block on the goblin there. Now, that is going to be good for... Uh, Zelgrax, I believe. Okay, no, he's going to push through. Okay, he's just pushing in a little bit. I guess he can move this guy up here. Or there. And it's relatively safe on this side. Oh! Okay. I'm going to guess that was an accident. Because I don't think it was 100% necessary. He's gone for an unusual... Uh, I don't even know what to call this. Uh... I guess we could call it the plus sign formation. Which is definitely not impregnable. But under the circumstances, he wanted to kind of push up the field a bit more. Stunning the troll is pretty huge. That really lets that side of the field kind of uh, get back in position. Yep, the goblin dodge is not working out as much as he like yet. So very short turn there for the uh, underworld. And I think we're just going to see a, a pretty safe advance now. Zorax is going to have to go for some serious, uh, even greater shenanigans now because this is about to get much more secure. It's got it screened off nicely. Doesn't even need a top corner to that cage, really. Yeah, this is why orcs are so uh, so good early on. Such a powerhouse. Where well, he's really gone in, uh, really put a lot of people in that. So. Uh, like L, L cage. And one more block here. Could take the both down there, honestly. I think I'd have taken the both down with a two armor value advantage. May as well. And and because it was the last one of the I mean obviously earlier in the half you wouldn't, but at this stage maybe you would. What's the plan here? So he's, he's going for the shenanigans, I'm just not sure what yet. Uh, that bell could be the death knoll on the uh, underworld chances here. Because he can just bring in one assist here and then this whole pocket is free to move up. He's going to put him in position even before he attempts it. He's got plenty of time here looking strongly like a 1-0 uh, to the uh, Hawks here. Though don't rule out the uh, one-turner with the troll. Yeah. 
Oh, don't go to If there's any goblins left, that is. Oh. Not a big deal at this point. There's not many blocks that are actually scary. Oh, he could have taken the both down again there. But you, you could argue that there's no need. Oh, this could be the uh, troll throw. Never mind. Save those rerolls. Oh, hello. A little sting in the tail from the underworld. And just a little pressure to say... Are you sure you want to stall this uh, another turn? I like that. It's always it's always a little scary. Sure, there are only strength three no block characters, but strange things can happen. And this little goblin here, yeah, we'll see. So what's he gonna do? Looks like he's gonna mark people up first and foremost. These guys are free, unfortunately. Those two. Oh, I thought he was going in for a second. So he's just gonna tighten up his cage in this corner. More probably more of a screen ultimately. And the troll is kind of too far away to throw somebody into the cage. You could throw somebody to the cage, like over here, but that's about it. Oh, going for a... Oh, going for one dying connecting it to there. I don't know why he did that. I think you push him this way. Because now, theoretically, this guy could knock this guy over, and then this guy could come around for uh, one dice. Which, if it works, is uh, game-changing. This goblin can probably come up to get a block the assist here. So yeah, this is 100% what I would do. Knock this guy over, one die splits in. Not sure what he was going for in the end there. I think this was this. I don't know. Well, it wasn't to be. Okay, I like this. A bit of greed here. Feeling like he can get a three dice, so why not? Oh! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. That was funny. I'm pretty sure they had a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a chat about that. Dodging the Black Hawk out accidentally for the assist. That could have been the biggest disaster in history. Got away with it though. As always seems to happen. Bye. Those those kind of things you do, you just like for a second your brain turns off and you don't you're like, how did I not see that he was attached to somebody? But he was attached to somebody. Ooh, I mean, that wouldn't have put it to a... Uh, it wouldn't have turned the result completely around, but it would have been a draw snatched from a 100, absolutely 100% 100 uh, victory. So he'd have been pretty furious with himself had that dodge not have worked. I do like this. I like the attempt at the uh, one-turner. I hope for his sake that it goes reasonably, because it's fun. Oh, the gain's turn. In very interesting. How does that affect his plan? Okay, it affects it in the sense that he's just going to try it next turn instead. And funnily enough, there's not a ton that the orcs can do about it, really. Uh, he could have blocked with this guy actually, and then come through for a blitz on the goblin here, which would have pretty much shut it down. Uh, but it has now left it open. So yeah, I think he could have shut this down. Okay, so he does a handoff to the goblin. Oh, catch that one. I think he caught it. Yep. Now for the troll throw, here we go. Oh! Oh, he changed his mind. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. The uh, 
he got hungry, but he managed to resist eating the goblin, but it was enough to make him not throw, which is a bit sad. <laughs> well, there you have it. A very interesting game that the Underworld could have come back into a couple of times there, early in the, I mean, late in the first half, where they were just that sort of unfortunate animosity pass away from uh, getting the goblin free and easy after being completely uh, in, you know, no man's land. Uh, perhaps Wizenlander could have protected the ball a little better um, once he actually managed to get it safe. I, I don't know, looking back on it. Uh, but then, right at the end, a couple of chances, but the, the dice de decided to uh, deny him. I mean, there was still more rolls to go, even if the troll had thrown him, so it's not like had that throw have been successful, it was a guarantee, but uh, but still, yeah, it was a close game, con even despite the Underworld being down so many players, so uh, good stuff from both players. Um, the Orcs obviously played very solid in that second half, with that, <laughs> that one little exception of the... Uh, Slight madness. Uh, this uh, level up on the Black Hawk is pretty huge, and I think uh, I think Zelgrax will be pleased with the MVP on the thrower as well. I didn't really see uh, what the injuries were like, so I don't know if any of them were long term. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how these guys go in future games. That was a that was a good one to watch. Some uh, interesting moments for sure. I will, uh, I'll see you for the next game in the league. Bye for now.